Unreal. Seriously, my four-year-old niece could make this. Hey guys, it's Janelle. Welcome back to my steamy vegan kitchen. Happy Monday. Although when you watch this video, it might not be Monday. Happy day of the week. This video is a little bit rough and cut today. My kitchen literally on both sides of me is an absolute disaster. So I cleaned off my stove. That's where we'll be filming today. I wasn't actually originally going to be filming any recipe video today, but there is a change of plans in my schedule. I was driving to work today and as I was driving down the highway, I got a flat tire. Yeah, I didn't make it into work today, so I had to come back, get my tire fixed, and now I have a whole day free. I did my hair and my makeup, I got dressed really cute, and I didn't want to just, you know, waste all this hard work. It's a rare occasion that I dress up for, like, anything other than work. So, here we are in my kitchen, did some grocery shopping on the way back from getting my tire fixed, and I ended up having all the ingredients to make the viral baked feta pasta with the tomatoes and stuff. I'm a little bit late to the party, but it is what it is. Here we go, let's get cooking. Alrighty, I'm not even joking. I have filmed this part of my recipe, I think I'm on my fourth time, because I kept forgetting ingredients that you need. Fourth time's a charm. For this recipe, according to the internet, you'll need a whole bunch of cherry tomatoes. You need some pasta. I have some go-go quinoa fusilli chickpea. I also have this block of vegan feta style cheese from Violife. Never tried it? Should be delicious. Uh, you need olive oil, some salt and pepper, some dried oregano, zest of a lemon, a whole bunch of fresh basil if you have it, and some fresh garlic. Is that gonna zoom in? It's not gonna zoom in. That's okay. You guys know what garlic looks like. Alrighty folks, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, add your tomatoes to a baking dish. Roughly you need like two and a half cups. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna guess and hope that I'm right. I feel like maybe if I use this whole thing of tomatoes, it might be too much. Nah, 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 this is good, this is good. Gives me enough room to place that little block of feta in there. Also, you can throw in some garlic too. So if the recipe calls for two cloves of garlic, heck, I say use four. Garlic is just one of those things that you don't let anyone tell you how to cook with. You measure that ish with your heart. Okay, so this uh, feta here from Violife, I gotta say, I opened it up, it looks very much like feta. It smells a lot like feta. So next we are just going to drizzle in some olive oil over the tomatoes and the garlic. Liberally sprinkle in some fresh ground pepper to your liking, of course. And I don't know, probably about half a teaspoon of salt. That should be all you need. Okay, and next we are going to add in the zest of one lemon, I know it doesn't really look like much, but that's the zest of a whole lemon, folks. Now, let's just give this a good stir. Make sure everything is just nicely coated and all those lovely flavors. Okay, and then make a little hole in the center for your vegan feta. Plop it in the middle. All right, just uh, sprinkle some oregano on top of the feta. You can also sprinkle some on top of the tomatoes as well. Pop that in the oven. Let that cook for about 25 to 30 minutes. And in she goes. Boom. In the meantime, get your pasta water boiling. Make sure that it is salty as the sea and cook your pasta to package directions. Okay, moment of truth. Oh my god, that smells great. Oh. oh my gosh, this is amazing. If you could only smell the smell that I am currently smelling. Just like, look at that. Tomatoes, like look how much juice that made. Look how much sauce we got out of this. I don't know how I didn't get on this viral TikTok pasta bandwagon sooner than I did, but I'm just glad that I'm on it now. Once your tomatoes and feta sauce have finished baking in the oven, you just simply add in your cooked pasta, 
right to the casserole dish and give everything a nice little stir. Don't burn yourself, please. Oh, baby, that is saucy. And I'm okay with that. Sauce is life. And if you agree with me on this, please, please let me know. Because without sauce on things, I don't know, life just isn't as complete. Food isn't as delicious. If you could smell this, I think you might just like die. Okay, now we're gonna add some basil, some fresh basil that I chopped up and serve. This literally smells like an Italian restaurant, like in all the right ways. Although, is there a wrong way to smell like an Italian restaurant? Oh, baby. This, I'm pretty sure is the best smell that has ever, ever happened in my house. Do you concur, Bradley? It's my husband, he concurs. I don't know if you can see, but I'm so excited to eat this. At long last, I'm eating the viral TikTok baked feta tomato pasta. Damn. Oh my God. That's good. I get it. I get it now. I get why it was so freaking viral. I understand. It's so good. It's so creamy. So full of flavor. So, so full of life. So full of life. It's so full of life. This pasta dish is life-giving. It's life-giving. It has that wonderful tang that you'd expect from feta. Unreal. And seriously, it's like stupid easy. Like so simple. You literally can't make it more simple than dumping a bunch of stuff into a casserole dish and putting it in an oven. So easy your husband could do it. My four-year-old, four? My four-year-old four niece could make this. This is just un unbelievable. Okay, folks, well, there you have it. Oh, I feel like my head's getting cut off. There you have it. I think I sat too close to my camera. Please do yourself a favor and make this pasta. You can literally find this recipe like anywhere on the internet, but I will list this in the video description below. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you never miss any videos that I put out there. Hit that little notifications bell so you're always alerted when I post something new and have an awesome day, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.